Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Guys, we are going to do the Christmas Mass. It is time. It is time. This is what everyone's been talking about. The Christmas Mass. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, you guys know me. I'm a diehard Catholic. I'd do anything for the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ jumps off the Brooklyn Bridge. I'm, I'm following him. I'm following him. Even though he can walk on water and I can't. I'm, I'm going in the drink. And that is not clean water. Let me tell you something. That is not fucking clean water. You don't want to go anywhere near that thing. Uh, but I have, uh, I have some special guests here today that are going to tie in the, uh, the Christmas spirit with us. And let me just hop in this, let me just hop in this, uh, this VC real quick. Hmm. <clears throat> now, you guys will see as they join, um, and they are free to join whenever. I hope they haven't stood me up. Uh, their name will appear. We do have, uh, some special guests. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, Jaden. Hello. Hello. Hey. hey. Am I, I too early people. for, hey. for mass? Yeah, you ready? Are you ready for mass? Yeah, I don't know where everyone else is. You told us to be ready, and I'm ready. Wow. And no one is. I, you know what? I, I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. Is Jaden uh, is Jaden at an acceptable volume, everybody? I can't be any louder than this. You can't be any louder than that. Fair enough. I think we'll I think we'll say you're you're at a good volume. Okay. <clears throat> I can be quieter. Oh, no, no, uh, please don't. Okay. I guess we hit the sweet spot then. I've got my funny hat, everybody. Do you see my funny hat? Funny hat. My Catholic hat, my Pope hat. I figure I if the see. actual Pope is such a <laughs> So shit at his job, maybe it's my turn. What do you say? My turn? Sounds pretty good. Oh, hello, Ted. Ted, how are you? Good. Good, good. Is Ted being heard well, everybody? Can you hear me? Ted, I think we can hear you. I think we can hear you. Not only, nice. ladies and gentlemen, do we have the funny hat. We got the funny mic, too. It's a good time. And uh, let me... Oh, my God. What is that ca what? Other camera you have? What do you, what do you mean? What is that? That's the funny mic. It's that is not the funny mic. That is the Freddy Fazbear no, security camera. What are you talking what that about, is. Ted? That's the funny <laughs> mic. That's the, this is whoa. It's the funny Freddy one. Fazbear's gonna be coming around the corner, and he's oh, funny. Oh my god! That's... It's the funny one. What are you talking Dude. about? What's the problem with my microphone? Oh my goodness! I like how many pixels are in the the funny camera. Uh, yeah, you you've got sharpness at one hundred and fifty percent on that one. <laughs> <laughs> It gets all pixelated once I switch back to this camera, too, which is funny. Yeah. Um, but I think we're making do. Uh, let me turn up the volume a little bit. Here we go. Uh, and we've got another guest who is a no-show, who hasn't shown up. I guess, uh, oh. 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 Hello. Hey. Welcome to, uh, welcome to the Catholic tradition of Mass on Christmas Eve. We're doing a little midnight Mass. Everybody, yeah. uh, it is with great joy that I invite you all to turn on your cameras and let us uh, let us rejoice in the Lord and Savior birth. Uh, <laughs> hold on, I gotta turn mine off so I can turn oh. it on on Discord. Oh, whoops! <laughs> no, you're good. You're fine. So should we not? No, tur turn the fucking cameras on. Just give me a give me a second. I'm struggling. Oh, your guys' set are are all so nice. I guess Hello. Ted and I have the same set. Ladies and gentlemen, I can probably turn off this overlay. Pushed all the boxes that I had to that side. That's the streamer secret, folks. You push all the boxes to that side and to that mm. side. Out of frame. Right. My oh, boxes, yeah. they're in full view. I am not ashamed of my boxes. What the fuck is in the background of yours, Jaden? Boxes? No, the other thing is that Roadrunner from Looney Tunes. 
No, it's not the Roadrunner Schlatt. Wait, who is that then? That's it's not the Wiley Coyote. Fucking Wiley Coyote. You, you know yeah. what a Roadrunner looks like? He's the one who chases. He's the one who chases. He's Road the best Runner. Looney Tune. Right. Yeah. My fault. My fault. I've got one thing on my mind and one thing only, and that is uh, that is faith. Well, can I say so, one thing, Schlatt? Yeah, it's sort yeah, of, of surprising. I mean, the Roadrunner and the Coyote are real animals, and it's sort of surprising you with the Pope's hat on right now that you wouldn't be aware of how to identify all of God's creatures. Okay, big guy. Yeah. All right. All right. Hey. I get it. I get hey, it. You're man. funny. You're funny. You're funny little fella. You're a funny fella. Yeah. Uh, hold on real quick whilst I... Okay. Whilst I pull up... Oh, <laughs> Silly me. I pulled Can we get up my some merch. amen in chat? Oh, man. Okay, I was going to do a plug, but I forgot. Hold on. Uh, oh, shit. Fuck. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> ah. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the Mass. Uh, I'm doing this all by, just by my remembrance of Catholicism and, and the many times I go to Mass. Uh, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. 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 The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Uh, Thanks. And with your spirit. You. And with how your does, spirit. How is Emma yeah. Langevin the only one who knows and with your spirit? It's well, not I was, my it's first the same thing. thought was to go and also with you. All thanks. right. So, Jayden, I'm sort thanks. of a. Uh, yeah, well, you haven't been. So <laughs> Well, there's nothing more polite than thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we're going to open with a song. I, I hope you're all ready for this song. It is called uh, The Table of Plenty. It's, a, it's my favorite Christian song. Are you guys yeah. ready? Do you guys know the lyrics? Um, if you, you get, Oh, all right. Uh, if you give us maybe some, some sort of one of those little packets that they have at mass, especially yeah. Christmas. One of those yeah, little, we yeah, one a little packet. We're going to play I'd this like song. A, on I'd like a karaoke version, I'd... like a karaoke screen. We're gonna play I'd like this. to feel yeah, like will be I'm a in karaoke a... screen. There's karaoke. Hold on. Okay. Let me. I'm hoping to feel like I'm in an uncomfortable pew. That is exactly perhaps. what I'd like. That is exactly what I'd like. Where, by the way, where's Connor? Where is Connor? Connor? I forgot. Where Connor's is supposed Connor? To be here. Where the fuck Where's is the Connor? blessed boy? Where's Connor? What the? What the Guess hell? He I'm gonna add him. Anyways. Holy. Oh. Hello. Oh, there he is. Connor. Oh, Connor. Hey, no, man. Showing up late to mass. Hi, Welcome dude. to Hi, Christmas guys. mass. Welcome to Christmas mass. It's gonna oh, turn on my. God. Hey, you. Uh, where are you, man? I'm in church. <laughs> nice. Wait, are you really? Or nice. is this some kind of Zoom shit? Are you like in shit? the corner of the no, room? No, I'm in church. Nah, this, this is some Zoom shit. No, you're not in church. You're not. He looks like he's in church, man. No, I, don't, I, church. I just don't. I just don't know. I see the cross. I see the cross. I see the stained glass right there. Yeah. Guys, it is time to sing the table of plenty. Are we ready? Hit hit play on this shit in like two seconds. Ready? Three. Oh, oh, oh. We're counting. Two, what? Wait, what? Are we one. at three, two, one? Oh, this? I see it. I see the video. The link. Okay. Okay. I Come already know. The feast the feast of oh, I know. Are we playing already? Come to Come the I'm table, the table of plenty. plenty. Come to the feast God will of plenty. God will provide all that we need. We need. Here at the table, table of plenty. I'm cut up. Oh, come. Oh, come. Oh, I'm not yeah. Yeah. Table, yeah. Where where saints saints and table. Where saints and sinners are friends. Are friends. I wait, I wait to welcome the lost and, and lonely to share the cup of my love. My love. To share the cup of my love. <laughs> I think I'm not to the feast of heaven and earth. Of heaven and earth. Come to Come the, the table, table of plenty. plenty. Come God, God will work for all that we need. Here at the table, the table of plenty. The table of plenty. Table of plenty. Oh, come, come and eat without, without money. Lie, this song fucking sucks. Thief. 
<laughs> Time to drink without price. Ted, Ted, I paused the song. It's not My good. My feast of gladness Ted. will feed your spirit. Ted, the song is over. Oh. Oh, Tyler, I was just getting into it. Uh, no, I was like, I was really feeling the music. I oh, felt you were, God in the, you were, I felt the Lord's presence for, in this call tonight. You ready for I Jesus? To the sweet I felt him here. Mm -hmm. He's, he was showing himself. No, I get it. At the old church I went to, the, the lady who did the hymns would like play the organ and sing and do this. And she'd like puff up and down. And my father called her the puffer. Yeah. <laughs> People are saying I ruined Christmas. Ted, you did not ruin Christmas. Ted, you fucking you killed it. We're, we're just Thank getting you. started over here. I mean, this is, this is it. This is really what it's all about. I'm feeling the Yule Tide. Well, it is at this point in the Mass where I invite Ted Nivison to come up to the podium and give a reading from the Holy okay. Gospel. Or Bible. All right. Bible? A reading from the book of one of the three kings that visited baby Jesus when he was born. Hmm. Dear diary, well, we've made it. it. Me and those other two schmucks kings crossed the entire desert to meet a random baby. It's kind of ridiculous how we got to this point, really, so I'll try to put it simply. I'm hanging out with my two buddies from work, having a couple brewskis, you know the drill. And one of them says, yo fam. I hear there's this kick-ass party going on at an underground spot in Bethlehem. Are you guys coming through? As you can expect, a trio of kings who are a bottle and a half of wine into the night and who have just killed off their last batch of concubines are the perfect bachelors for an epic throwdown in B-Town, no cap. Ted, what what book is this from? Mm -hmm. What book? What book is it's this from? It's from the book of the three kings that visited baby Jesus when he was born. Oh, okay. No, go yeah. on. Go on. Yeah, can I continue? Would you allow well, did that? You, did you find this on like archive of our own or like Wattpad or something? I found this in the in the in the in the Bible. Oh, it's in the oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like it so. might have been like NIV or something. Maybe just okay. Lost in well, it's fine. Um. Anyways, B town, no cap. As I was saying, I asked my buddy, "Is there a cover charge?" To which he replies, "They they said bring either gold." frankincense or myrrh to which i say that's sort of a weird thing to request is this like a wedding or is there a registry or something to which he replies nah but i heard that some guy called the prince of peace is showing up sounds like it could be kind of interesting i was pretty wasted so when he said that I, when when he said that i thought he said the prince that pees which in a party context is a pretty wacky and wild thing to be known for even in b-town that stands for bethlehem so we agreed to show up to this party, and from there on, things just went downhill, diary. For starters, the directions given on the RSVP were absolute dog shit, as the only directions they gave was to follow that big bright star that seems important, you'll know it when you see it. That is not an address that is called being a bad host. Host. We ended up agreeing on a random star in the sky because there's a lot of them, and then, I ho then we hopped on our camels and made it on our way. Is this a uh, translation or a direct? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it might is, be like this, new this, international this, version this, or some like well, some uh, like non-Catholic version. Uh, uh, this is straight from the you know the book, the big book, the big the big book, the yeah. book. This is um, book. Can I can I ask what chapter, hmm? page number, uh, uh, fucking, name title? Uh, five colon three. Right. In no, I. I, I know exactly what he's I've talking about. I've read that. Yeah, I've heard exactly it. I know. I'm caught up now. So yeah, that's where yeah. caught up I mean, a couple creative liberties with the story. I mean, um, let me finish. This is a great. I mean, this is a oh. great passage. I mean, so upon arrival in Bethlehem, me and the boys somehow reached the party that we had heard so much about, and it was beyond disappointing. For starters, the venue was a bit lackluster. I don't know if that douche Joseph didn't get the memo, but holding an epic throwdown in Bethlehem requires a little bit more than a dilapidated stable, especially when I'm trying to get Bethlehemmered. <laughs> also, barely anybody showed up. There was an ox, a donkey, a bunch of shepherds high out of their minds, like five sheep, a husband and a wife, and literally a newborn baby, who I'm in that moment finding out is actually called the Prince of Peace, but given his age, I'm pretty sure the other title is more accurate. And don't even get me started on how ugly this baby was, too. This creature was monstrous. <laughs> it's probably because I've never seen a baby straight out of the womb before, but that thing was like a slimy little demon. 
Plus, the thing wasn't even crying, which is actually really creepy. It was just sort of sitting there, hanging out, like a weirdo. <laughs> Long story short, me and the boys dropped off our gifts and we bounced right out of there. Worst, worst Bethlehem trip to date by far, the word of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, God. Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Or, I think Connor said the right one. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Guys, it's at this point, I know we're, we're kind of fast-tracking a little bit, but it's communion time. I just like to give some some wafers to you all. Do you, Thank you. you yeah, sure. Yeah. What flavor are they? Um, <laughs> I hope they're cheddar flavor blasted. They're, these are not flavor blasted. <laughs> they are uh, they are oh, Jesus okay. flavored. This is you're, Jesus this is flavor? the body of Jesus. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, I love flesh. Body and the blood. <laughs> what? Oh, Emma. Hey, I just, man. Hold on. I'm getting a DM here that says that says that. Oh god, this is awkward. Um Jeez. Give me one second here. Uh I just got a very strange direct message uh from my youth minister who said that he found he went he went on Emma's Twitter and found some strange tweets. Emma, oh, could you, um, what he could be speaking about. Could you maybe like explain what uh what this one is? Maybe like laying my freshly snipped foreskin out to dry on the windowsill so I could use it to roll a joint later. Is that, is that, did you tweet that? Yeah, it's also, I'm gonna meant to talk about it later. So spoiler, but. Oh, you're gonna talk about that oh. later? Yeah, um, I told you I love flesh, so. Right. Yeah. I'm, ju I'm just like, this is a Catholic service. So I'm kind of, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of like wondering, hold on. No, okay. There's another. He just, sent me, he just sent me another. Christmas haters, this is a safe space. Why did you tweet that? Um, because I hate Christmas. <laughs> which which part? Why are you here? <laughs> um, mainly. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. I kind of just got like really high, and I kind of just wandered oh. in here. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I figured you know there's never there's, it's never too, it's never too late to find Christ. That's true, and I've you know, been high on the Holy Spirit. It's never too late. High on the on I the love, beautiful. high on the uh -huh. love of Jesus Christ. Uh, high, exactly, some might amen. Say. Um, yeah, it's at this point in the in the mass that I'd actually like to uh, do do a little Gregor Gregorian chant. You guys, are you guys familiar with that? Oh, totally. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. All the time, I'm sure you yeah. guys, I'm sure you no. guys know it. I don't know what that is. I'm going to link it in That's here. Fair. It is a Gregorian chants at 432 hertz. Three hours of healing music. Oh, Do we oh see boy. That? Is there healing a time music? stamp? Are we starting from the front? Oh, we're starting from the beginning and we're going, we're, actually, we're, we'll be finishing the whole thing. Wouldn't be a Christmas mass <laughs> without a three hour Gregorian chant. It's That's true. what I always say. Ready? Three, All right. two, one. Can I read out loud this one comment on the video? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember 20 years ago when I went to Paris with my grandma. We went to Notre Dame, saw an advertisement for a Gregorian chant concert that night, and decided to go. Imagine this live in a beautiful old cathedral, candle lit everywhere, and the sound bouncing around for three seconds with the great acoustics inside Notre Dame. It was very relaxing and beautiful. I was sad when it burned. Oh, they said yeah, that was my Christmas. <laughs> and there's like 213 upvotes. <laughs> it did burn. The, the church did burn. It gets a like from me. Hey, um, you just ruined my vibe. I didn't well, want to think about the Catholic church burning. We can, we can restart the video if you want. No, it's, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I, think I mean, we're, we're already reading. We're already a minute and like thirty seconds in. I mean, we We're gotta see this finished. through. Yeah. Oh, you think we should keep going? We're too far in to like end now. We gotta see it through the whole way. I don't know the words to the song. 
You don't know the words? This is like... This is, is like... What kind of a Catholic are you? you? I just... I, don't, I didn't learn Latin. You're a terrible... Connor, I don't say this lightly. You are a terrible person. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Father. I would now like to Amen. invite Emma Langevin up to the stage to do Langevin. the second... I'd now like to invite Emma Langevin up to the stage to do the second reading of the Mass. All right. Um, I got this so, on me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so as you know, there's a bit of controversy amongst queers being in the Catholic Church. I guess it's only okay when a priest is involved, but as the resident LGBTQIA of this stream, gentlemen, I am here to set the record straight by talking about how fucking whack it is. And with that, I'm going to start with a quote from our Lord and Savior, Brittany J. Spears. Are you in? Living in sin is the new thing. So uh, Schlatt already uh, gave us the Eucharist, and as we all know as Catholics, that is a second sacrament we receive following baptism. Mm -hmm. And has anybody else like put together how like erotic and ritualistic it is for all of us to line up and take turns eating some dude's body? Like, did you know the proper way to take the Eucharist is to place it on your tongue like a tab of acid and let it melt on your mouth? Or at least that's what Father Touchy Feely taught me. Now, I'm no stranger to flesh. I've worn it several times, and I've even left foreskin out to dry on my windowsill so I could roll it with a joint later, as you brought up earlier. Yes, you did tweet but that like two hours ago. Something about fantasizing about consuming a crucified man's skin for religious fulfillment has got to be where I draw the line. And now, I don't know if it's God or like one of the writers of the Bible, but feet are brought up a lot. Did you know Jesus is one of the earliest recorded foot fetishists on the planet? Don't believe me? Book of John 13, verses 1 through 17. Jesus was hanging with his homies, and as an act of humility, he decided to invite the boys over so he could get down on his hands and knees and wash their feet. After they're walking through the dirt and sandals all the time, callous to shit. And this is the same... And that is true. Again, book of John, verses 1 through... Uh, book of John 13, verses 1 through 17. This is the same motherfucker who earlier, Book of Luke 7, verses 36 through 5, came to a town and let a woman wash his feet with her tears, wipe them down with her hair, spray perfume on them, and kiss them. But now this motherfucker wants to act like he's humble? Clearly he had some pent-up homoerotic fantasies and needed a loophole to release them without touching his dick. Anyway, that woman clearly awoke something inside of him. <laughs> and now, I know this is done before, but let me take a shot at it. Why am I not supposed to fuck with Satan if he lets me do all the cool shit? Like, no, why would I no, spend, no, no, no. why would I want to spend eternity in a gated community in the clouds for the rest of my life when I could just go to Florida and rot there? Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> Why would, why would Satan even want to punish me? Like, isn't it a good thing if I'm wreaking havoc and filling the world with sin? If I'm elbow deep in some girl I picked up on the Las Vegas Strip at 2 a.m. after a six-day bender, wouldn't he be proud of me? And riddle me this. How could it be, how could it be heaven if I'm not allowed to eat pussy? Huh? Doesn't seem like heaven to me. And with that being said... I will lead us in prayer. Oh, that wasn't the, name of the, the Father <laughs> and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, oh, who our Father art in hell, heaven. hell, what are you disgrace doing? be thy name. Tell thy, thy name. To, thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will, thy will be, be done. done on earth as it is in hell. On earth it is, it in hell. Give us this day. Don't say it. Our <laughs> daily bread. Bread, our daily, daily bread. bread. And support our trespasses. And support our trespasses. <laughs> As we destroy those who As trespass we, against us. As we destroy those who trespass against us. And lead others into temptation. Ooh, and lead yeah, others yeah. into temptation. And deliver us from good. And deliver us deliver from us good. good. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This God took a dark turn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Schlatt, fire up those Gregorian chants again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I 
think I need a, a little bit of a cleansing after that one. Um, and, well, and then as those are going, Emma, would you give that gaze you just gave into the into the camera again? And Schlett. <laughs> you got the Gregorian chants going? Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Guys, All right. I'm not going to lie. I'm very uncomfortable. This was supposed to be a day of appreciating the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so far, it's been a little bit... A little bit tarnished. I'm not gonna lie. What happened to what happened to loving what happened to loving God? I didn't say anything about not loving God. That's true. That's true. Shalad, I came with a with a real, you know, reading from the Bible. I don't understand what you, you gotta No, you're right. You're right. I guess I'm just a little it bit was appreciated. Pent up. Okay, again, I looked up actual verses and I referenced them directly. I worked hard on that. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck what is, is that? this? Is that Mater from Toy from Pixar? <laughs> Mater. It's Mater. <laughs> is that Christmas Mater? Oh Christmas. Jesus Christ! Stop. What the Get fuck is she here, doing Anna? here? You wanna come to Disney with me on a date? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. I'm in for holidays on Valentine's. We are going to the special event. Oh my God! I'm so down. Guys, look! It's fucking cars. Oh, she's sure. swearing in church. I can't swear in church. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Stop. 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 It's okay, my mom's here. She's a Christian. Hey guys, I'll be back later to share some Holy Spirit. See you guys soon. Merry Christmas. I love you, Emma. <laughs> love you. <laughs> Hi, Banks. Connor, do your reading. I'm a little, I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm oh, a little... I'm, oh, I'm overwhelmed too. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm overwhelmed with the Spirit of God. Okay, you want me to do so my whole reading? Yeah, man. Do the whole reading. Okay. Well, thank you for the invitation, Father. I'm excited to spread the word today. You're welcome. Um, You're welcome, my Emma, son. I appreciated your reading uh, and the reference to a father touchy-feely. He's a good man. He loves those kids. Nice guy. Um, we're going to move on kids. here. Was, uh, today, I'm going to give you the, a retelling of the nativity and the birth of Jesus. Hmm. Um, and I brought special special backgrounds here uh, through technology to showcase you ah, so okay, okay. first <laughs> we have um you draw that this is mary <laughs> this is mary and then the angel came to to say hey hey you're gonna have the baby jesus and she goes okay sounds good and then hold on and then she told her husband Joseph, who was a carpenter, um, and and Joseph was like, "Oh, that's cool. Like, you, we haven't like had sex yet, but that's fine. Like, we, we'll have the baby." It's true. That always did. Everything me. was fine, and you, she, she's kind of like guilty about it. She kind of feels bad, but everything gets figured out. Mm. Um, so then up next, we have um, they. <laughs> They need to go to Bethlehem, which is where, um, what? Father, was it Joseph or Mary's hometown? B-Town, man. Shall I, I don't do you know. know if it was, I don't, was it Joseph's I just, I hometown? I straight up just don't know. Well, okay. It was somebody's hometown. They needed to go, and so they rode the donkey. Uh, they rode the donkey mm. uh, to get there for, like, a long time. Um, and then when they get there... There's a lot of people there because it's Christmas, I think, is the reasoning. And so they can't do that. There's like, oh, we have no place to stay. So then right. they go to the inn, the innkeeper. And the innkeeper is like, hey, I don't have a room for you. I don't have a room for you, but you can, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're allowed to sleep. Hold. In the barn. Right. So Mary and Joseph then go sleep in the barn with uh, all the animals. Mm. Um, and then the baby comes. So hold on. The baby, well, hold on. Actually, the baby's there. There he goes, Jesus. Mm. Jesus is there. Fucking disgusting. So that's good. Everybody's cheering. And then um, some Jesus cow Christ. guys, like the, Jesus, the angels appear, the oh, shepherds. Right. 
and they're like, yo, there's Jesus like over there. Like follow the star. Ted, you said it was a random star, I think. You heard first person retelling. Yeah, yeah. You'll know when you see it is what they said. I'm yeah, pretty it, you sure know when you see it. Bethlehem. Right. Something along the lines of that. And so mm. then um there's everybody. That's it. Jesus was born, all the animals are happy. Okay. And that's <laughs> I like that's the, the donkey that's, that's right pretty on much the, that. On the far Thank right. You. Did you um <laughs> did you like get these photos on WikiHow or like did you draw them? Who is uh who made these? Uh I like to believe they were touched by God and oh, ordained to be okay. here tonight. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, um I do have some more reading to give. Okay, yeah, you can keep going. You can keep going. I'm going to give a bit of a sermon here today. One He's, second. Connor's going to give a little sermon. Oh, hold on. Time out, Connor. Time out, Connor. I'm getting a call. Oh? I'm getting a first time uh. call from... Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, it's Austin Show! Oh! Sorry, I'm late to Austin Show? Austin. The gospel! Oh shit, okay, alright. In the best way I know, I know there's been a lot of, uh, you know, a lot Get him of closer, messing Mike. around here, and I'm just not messing around. That's no, not he's me. not. That's not my style. Right. Especially this time of year, folks. Uh, it's all about getting together. Getting together as one with your families. Um, so true. And most importantly, it's about cock. Uh, it's about sucking big old cocks. <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing? Really what are you doing? Am I, what are you doing? The important thing about this time of year is, is you just want to take it all in your mouth. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just, it, it does depend on, uh, you know, obviously, you know, not everybody, that's their thing. But, you know, for me, that's really the most important thing about this time of year. And, uh, you know, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Uh, and usually it's... Uh, oh, man. My face. Wow. So I guess he's not spending Christmas with me then. That was beautiful. I mean. It was passionate. What's wrong, Schlatt? Well, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> he was passionate. Out of love for the truth and from desire to, elu to elucidate it, the Reverend Father Martin Luther, Master of Arts and Sacred Theology and Ordinary Lecturer there and at Wittenberg, and tends to defend the following statements and dispute on them in that place. Okay. Uh, one, when our Lord and Master Jesus Christ said, repent, he willed the entire life of believers to be one of repentance. Um, two, this word cannot be understood as referring to the sacrament of penance, that is, confession and satisfaction as administered by the clergy. Uh -huh. um, three, yet it does not mean solely inner repentance. Such inner repentance is worthless unless it produces various outward mortification of the flesh. Flash, um, Emma. Yes, for the penalty of sin remains as Wait, long Connor, as the how many of itself. these are you going to read? 95. Oh, what is that? What the fuck is oh, going you on, have, man? You have Martin Luther's You're 95 You're reading 95 theses? fucking theses? That's right. I fooled you. I'm not even... Hold on. I'm not in church. I'm at home because oh, Protestantism. Oh, you can connect, shit. What the you fuck? can connect to the Lord from your home. You don't need the, the 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 priest or the church. You don't need any of that. No, I'm sorry, guys. I'm cutting this service short. Well, I'm welcome this service to short. a non-denominational oh, church. This is fucking Look at ridiculous. This. Hold on. What? Oh, he's got he's got he's got Protestant <laughs> clothing now. What is this? What's what's going on? It says, "Fucks I give." None. Whoa. It's a nun. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You suck. Jesus loves. <laughs> You're all right. You're all right, my man. I'm all right. I'm I've right. seen this enough times to know what's happening here. Jaden, I think you have the last reading of the day. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll I'll try to uh, bring up the 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 spirits here. Um, as you guys know, um, Jesus, while he was alive, uh, performed thirty four miracles, and I I just wanted to bring attention to some of my favorite ones that he he did. Um, 
I, I'll, I'll go through some honorable mentions mm -hmm. that I liked. Um, I liked when um, he cured someone's fever. That was a pretty cool one. Right. Uh, I've got the, the yeah. scripture here, Mark 1, colon 3, 0. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she was good. That was... That's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> that's an actual quote from the and Bible? she was good? Yeah, that's Mark and she 1, was good? 30. And she was... All good. <laughs> she was good. Um, I like the one where okay which one is this one okay i would like to say that two of the miracles um was he fed a lot of people the mm. first one was he fed four thousand people and the second one was he fed five thousand people and i would like to i just wanted to bring up the conversation that mr beast recently posted a video <laughs> feeding ten thousand people <laughs> i think that's just <laughs> I don't want to no more words. I just wanted to bring it to everyone's attention. That's fair. Um, he, but I my feel very... like there might have been like less people back then, maybe. Yeah. No, no, that's not oh. possible. <laughs> <laughs> but my my favorite, <laughs> my, okay. my favorite um, miracle that Jesus performed, he performed. Okay, so he caught a lot of fish. And I would like to read the scripture of when he caught a lot of fish. Right. He says, okay, this is Luke 5, colon 1, dash 1, 1. One day as Jesus was standing by the lake, lake of, that is a word I do not know how to pronounce, the people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, one belonging to Simon, and asked him to pull out a, a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he f said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've been working hard all night and haven't caught anything, but because you say so, I will let net down the nets. When he had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. And I think that's incredible. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he did but, too good but, of a but, job. But, there is... So then he was crucified. And... <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Why would you, you say skip that? into the ending like that? <laughs> but I, I gotta spoil Spoilers. you for this. After Jeez. he came back, he performed one more miracle. Uh -huh. And he went out and caught more fish. And I would like to... <laughs> that was the last thing he did before he peaced one. out? That was his little last miracle. He caught more fish? He was like, I'm going to do it again? This scripture is called the second great hall of fishes. John 21, 1. Afterward, Jesus appeared again to his disciple by the sea, sea of... Disciple? Galilee. I don't know. Disciples. It happened this way. Simon Peter, Thomas... Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, the sons of a lot of people, there's a lot of people there, say, I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told them, and they said, we'll go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize it was Jesus. He called out to them, friends, haven't you any fish? No, they answered. He said, Throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net in because the l large number of fish. Hello. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sorry, Jaden, keep going. Keep going? Okay. So they threw the net to the right side of the boat instead and caught a large number of fish. Then right. the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. As soon as Simon Peter heard him say, It is the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him, for he had taken them off, and jumped into the water. The other, <laughs> other disciples followed in the boat, towing the net, of, net full of fish, for they have not, were not far from the shore, about a hundred yards. Blah, blah, blah. And then, do you want to guess how many fish he caught? Ten. 
Well, that's not a large number of, of, of fish. At least 60. 102. You guys are going to be impressed. He caught 153 fish. Wow. wow. And then he went back wow. up to heaven. Jesus Holy Christ. Yeah, we get an amen in chat? Yeah. Oh, my God. 153. Lord. Man. That, those, they really those do catch more things really... on Deadliest Catch. I was a really big fan, and I, I will say that I, I drew some fan art um, oh. of that that scripture. Oh, I'm going to put in oh, general. Boy. Um, wow! I, I, I don't oh, know if you guys would want to take a look. Um, oh wow! I oh, thought, I thought it was a really good one, and nice. I figured that I wanted to share it with other people. You know, like a, a like a fan fiction so, kind of thing. So I did include a a YN version of the drawing. A YN version. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. What is that? Yes, are are you are you not aware of fan fiction YN Schlatt? No. It, it stands for your name. So when people write fan fiction, if they want a character to be the reader, they write YN, oh, and so, everything in that fa fan fiction so, includes the reader. So you did a yes no, you catching fish with Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, and I did another fan fiction of the second hauling of fish. After he was crucified, and oh. I did do oh um, what the fuck? Oh, the what the at, fuck is this? Of that one too. <laughs> Bloody oh Jesus my God. Christ! <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? Why would you a fucking nice do one this? Of YN holding hands with Jesus, <laughs> and then another YN. Oh God, how many? Of these? <laughs> All right. <laughs> While he's also crucified. <laughs> This is beautiful. Thank you for sharing this with us today, this Jaden. This is great. You gave I us so many. Like you gave I us really so many options. It. You gave us I a just, Jesus you know, so many variants. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm I'm gonna think about me catching fish with the crucified bloody Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, yeah, Jaden. Yeah. What I like course. about this, Jaden, have you ever read the Captain Underpants books before? I saw a movie. Mm. Well, in those. In those Dov Pilkey books, you can go like this back and forth, and it makes it look kind of like the drawings are animated, right? Mm. I like the I, I like how you provided so many drawings here because you can do you that can, with the can, holding hands one. Or well, I was thinking you could do the one where it's you, Jaden, next to Jesus, and then you flip it, and then all of a sudden Jesus has the flower of <laughs> crown of thorns on his head, <laughs> so and it just Any goes of them, back and forth, yeah. <laughs> like it's some you can fucked tell so up many bad stories dream. My fan arts. Damn. <laughs> Well, truly, uh, truly enlightening, everybody. I hope you've had a great time at this Christmas Eve mass. Christmas is coming in, in mere hours. It will be Christmas, and we will uh, be opening a lot of presents. Pringle is coming. Pringle is coming. That's what I the usually cr say. Yeah. Yeah. What are you hoping for before we depart? What are you, ho what are you guys hoping for? Um... Let me see. Uh, what is on the list? What do you hope Santa will give you a big bag of? A hot milk under the tree. Okay. Mm. Goodbye, Emma. It's been awesome. <laughs> Wait. Oh. oh. Uh, do we say our, our wish and then get banned? <laughs> okay. Maybe. <laughs> I hope to be not banned. I hope to get Bethlehammered. Well, that was Christmas Mass, everybody. I hope you enjoyed.